Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to the parlour. Thanks for staying here and staying with me. Um, I actually was sat here waiting for the wash to dry still on the um, the grot tanks I've just been painting and looking at the master's cabinet and I thought, you know what, I should probably maybe do a bit of a showcase on some of the stuff I do for competitions um, because that's the big passion for me is obviously I'm... Um, uh, progressing as a competition painter uh, I'm by no means world class um, but I've really enjoyed competition painting um, and you know I'm, I'm, I'm getting some some good results now which is nice um, several medals now and um, some competition wins uh, and in the bigger competitions coming up towards the end of this year it'll be interesting to see how I get on and what I do so um, this is one of my recent pieces. I did this for Salute Just Gone. It was a finalist in category. Um, it didn't medal, unfortunately, but given that at least six of the best painters in the world were in my category, just getting a finalist um, and onto the table in Salute is good enough for me. That was really lovely. So um, this piece is called The Final Two, or Munus, The Final Two. Uh, I think it's got a 75 on putty and paint at the minute. Um, so uh, with a lot of votes which is nice um, and this is my passion is Roman military history I really love Roman military history and particularly all things to do with that both of these busts are available from Young's Miniatures and they're about 45 quid each um, and you get uh, there's two different types of Gladius uh, one is a Mamillo and the other one is a Secutor um, the armour is very similar and unless you're a Gladiator nerd you wouldn't really know the difference but uh, I do um, so um, first off a shout out to my friend Simon at Beardy War Games um, who designed this on a 3D printer and then printed it out for me so I had a engraved stone plaque to make as the plaque um, I'm pretty much going to get Simon to do all of my piece plaques now I, you know he's a great bloke um, and if you want custom work doing for stuff like that that comes obviously just as a 3D print which you then paint he's a great chap to do it um, you will see uh, from this that the metallics are rather lovely. Um, I study um, metallurgy uh, and I painted the metallics the same way that that particular era of, of bronze would have been cast and what it would have looked like. So there's two different eras of bronze. The idea being behind this piece um, is you've got the old champion fighting for his Rudius, which is obviously to be free, and then you've got the new up and coming. Uh, guy and they're the final two out of a, a multi-match for the wealthies. This is ancient Roman bronze. This is probably 12th century. Uh, yeah, 12th century I would say. Um, and it's really heavy in copper, so it's very prone to. Um, uh, Christ, what's the word? Uh, my mind has gone blank. Verdigris. There we go. It's very prone to tarnishing. Um, this is Carthaginian bronze. Uh, which had much more zinc in it um, and it was slightly later and a bit stronger kind of working towards the more Greek um, influences uh, now this model is stock pretty much okay so that's how the piece comes that you'll notice the face plates and helmets and stuff are underneath and that's this one is on just a piece of white tack um, this one is actually a removable and attachable um, because you get the option of putting the face piece on or not and obviously I wanted both the feathers they don't come on it. I sculpted the feathers um, and they were difficult to do, but you know, fun. So, this obviously the light source is upper right. He's very deeply in shadow. This guy, um, he is a bit of a psycho. So, you can see that he's looking up at the spectator's box or the, the kind of sponsor's box, and that's just death in his eyes. I really wanted to try and convey the absolute hatred. That this man feels for the the people who've organised the games and are making him fight, he's just I just managed to convey loathing, and I was really pleased with that. Um, he is a slave, obviously, so he's branded as a slave. You can see his owner's mark branded into his shoulder there, um, and you can see from his back that he's not always the best behaved of slaves. What I really wanted to do was to work in the extensive scarring from all the whips and the lashings that he's had. And this boy has had a lot of scarring and a lot of whippings and beatings. So you can probably tell why he hates the people he's fighting for so much. Um, we go back onto the old champion. 
Um, the old champion is uh, just much more resigned to life. He's he's lived in the arena maybe 20, 30 bouts. Um, you can see his eyes the thousand yard stare. So he's not. He's just focused on a place on the wall, and he's just contemplating what's going to come, or the horror of what he's just done. Because as you can see, he's got a lot of arterial bleed up him. Um, and this guy is old and full of scars. He's obviously balding, but his head is shaved, but I've still represented the balding, even though his head is shaved. Um, no beatings, no scars. He's done what he's told, and has clearly killed a lot of people. And he's well treated, he's got a bit more to fat because he's a successful gladiator. It's a myth that they were all built like this. Most of the gladiators actually carried extra fat because the fat was a protection against the blade's penetration. Um, and this comes with two heads. You get the head that's got the helmet sculpted on it, or the head that hasn't. And I wanted both, so I basically um, I carved out carved out the head to the and painstakingly kept carving out until it actually fit over the top of the original head um, and I used just a pin system to to put it in and a bit like an action man the judges can or are invited to take the helmet off the stand and put it on the gladiator which is a bit of a nice touch what is also really geeky about these is the um, see if I can bring the light in a bit more just to get a bit closer to it there we go um, is the the spray patterns I've actually designed the arterial spray patterns on them specifically for the type of weapon they use so uh, Mamillo uses a gladius a propped aure gladius to be precise and a shield um, and you will see the shield will be held in his left arm and the gladius is held in his right arm the shield here has knocked the opponent's blade out of the way and he's plunged the the blade into the throat of the person he's fighting and that's obviously ripped an arterial spray straight up him um, and covered him from head to foot while he's watched the bloke slide off his off his sword. Um, Secretaire uses two types of swords um, it depends on the era of history actually because Secretaire's or scissors um, would fight with one of two weapons options but this one's twin blades so he, he doesn't have any uh, shielding at all um, and he's got the larger shield on his exposed arm and, and a greater degree of armour running down his right arm. In theory that's the arm he's going to be leaning into contact with and exposing to the enemy more. Um, and you can see for him the blood is slash um, a slash and then stab. So the, the story on this guy is you know he's clearly sliced across an arm, an open chest or whatever and, and the blood has, has splashed with the momentum of the blade and then the finishing strike with this hand, with his left hand, so he's knocked the knocked the sword hand out of the way, and then the finishing strike is with this hand, and he's got the arterial spray up again and, and up onto his feathers. And obviously these guys are both splattered around their backs as well. Um, that won't be from them, that'll be from fighting back to back with other gladiators and just catching the stuff that's raining around the arena. Um, and it's called the final two because obviously that's the piece and you can see the blood marks where the others that have, let, have been less fortunate have been dragged away. Um, so let's see if we can get right in on his face. There we go, oh, that, there you go, that's good focus, isn't it? So you can really see that rage. He's a very angry man. Um, this is all, uh, well, I'm not gonna bore you with how I paint it, but you can see the thousands of colors and layers and everything else that's worked in there. The armour's colours are worked into the skin, so you're getting reflection as well. Um, that is an unhappy man. And then you got the wise old killer. With his battered, battered grizzled face. Young miniatures do some really, really excellent models. Right, cheers guys. Bye.